this some fun shit to do. Ain't nowhere else in the fucking world you can do this type of shit. Achiwa! What's going on? Hey, so welcome back to our channel. I'm Tanaj. And I'm Faustino. And I know that we've been away for a while, but Faustino and I took a much needed break in New Orleans. Actually been home for quite a while yeah and although we love vlogging I mean we absolutely love vlogging it can get a little tiresome at times it's a lot of work it's a lot, it's a lot of, of freaking work, work you guys work. and like I said we love it but we needed a break so we came to New Orleans and we decided to put our cameras down for a while and just actually enjoy the atmosphere with our family and friends yes so while we've been home we've been able to experience some Mardi Gras Indians <laughs> Yes, Mardi Gras Indians is definitely something that we kind of took for granted while we were home before. So this time while we were home, we actually found where they would be parading at and we went to a place called Second and Dryads, which is located in Uptown New Orleans. We just made it down to Second and Dryads. That is a place where the Indians meet and we are going to see the Indians battle. <laughs> <laughs> second drives and we're looking at the Indians and the intricate details of the costumes are absolutely amazing. These guys actually sit inside for nine consecutive months working on their costumes and when they come out they boast about it and that makes the, the show even better. I absolutely love it. So each Indian designs and creates his own suit. It's an elaborate bead patch that depicts meaningful and symbolic scenes. Beads, feathers, and sequins are the integral part of the New Orleans Mardi Gras Indians uh, suits. So the Uptown tribes tend to have more sculptural and abstract African inspired suits. Downtown tribes on the other hand have more pictorial suits with heavy Native American influences. They're all amazing to see. They are their beautiful colors, orange, green, purple, yellow, pink, blue. 
Right, and it's a family. It's a family affair and a family tradition. You can see the little kids. The, the youngest are dressed up just as much as the uh, the elders of the. Community. So, guys, there is actually a protocol that the Indians follow. Right. Many blocks ahead, they'll send out a person that to take a look at the community and make sure that there's no danger around. This person is called the Spy Boy. Spy Boy, come out first. You know what it's right I'm on the front, my chief on the back. I didn't bring Spy Boy, I won't buy dogs because I don't know how. I didn't bring Spy Boy, I'm going to talk about smack. I didn't bring Spy Boy, to talk about I'm too pretty. I'm this Spy Boy. I'm this my boy you're talking about. I'm this my boy you're talking about. Where is my boy? Next up, you guys, we have the flag boy. So usually the flag boy is carrying a token tribe flag. Right, and he just says the tribe's name. Closest to the big chief, you'll find the wild man. There's some fun shit to say. <laughs> Ain't nowhere else in the fucking world you can do this type of shit. Achiwa! Kumache from Well Town. I'm not scared of that wild man. Achiwa! 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 Finally, after the wild man passes, you'll hear everybody saying, make a hole. And once you hear that, you know one thing. Get out the way, because the chief is on his way. The chief is coming. Open the hole, open the hole, Fleming. Open up, open up, open up. <laughs> And the Indians used to hide us. That's the reason why we represent the Indians these days. You understand what I'm saying? Big Chief got plenty of fire water. You understand what I'm saying? I'm, I'm thinking some of Big Chief fire water right now. So that's the whole history behind the Indians. So what they do now is they meet in the middle of the street. And when they meet, because the Indians have spent so much time on their costumes, what they do is they boast and they brag. Oh, we did it nine months. Nine months, five. With days to spend. It's all love, now it's all love. After the tribes actually battle, what they'll do is they'll hug in solidarity and they'll move on. So far, the Indians have been coming through. We get some nice uh, photo ops and uh, some nice videos, some yeah. good detail uh, videos. the video hope you enjoy the video deuces
They're still waiting on 2020. They're still waiting on 2020. We did it in nine months. Nine months. Nine months, five. With days to spend. If we get on the side, you're going down. Open it up. Yes, queen. Yes. Yes, queen. Gucci, Mama. Gucci. Hey, guys. Don't forget to subscribe.